guys! <coughs> Voice crack much? Hey guys, it's Josie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have this very wintry and creative look for you. I had a blast creating this look for you guys and I really hope you will enjoy it. It has a lot of blues because I think blue is that kind of color that we don't wear enough on our eyes or on our lips or just use in our makeup looks, you know, generally. So I am bringing back the blue. I'm doing it hardcore. I really hope you like this as well and that you're not intimidated by it because seriously makeup is just supposed to be fun and I had so much fun creating this look for you so if you want to see how I did this crazy winter makeup look just keep on watching you can't even see my bun I promise I have hair guys there it is see here I have a cool toned brown shade from Isadora that I'm gonna use to sculpt out my face so I'm just going in on the cheekbones pretty lightly Obviously, we need that sharp jawline. Ah, there we go. I also want to use this lightly in my crease. Just blend this with a light hand in the crease area. Excuse me for all the creasing in my eyelids, by the way. I'm gonna fix that in a second. Now I'm gonna dive into the blues because this look is going to consist of mainly the color blue. When I think of winter, it's basically just blue and white. So that's what I'm going for. So the first blue I'm gonna use is a eye dust from Makeup Store and I'm not gonna pick it up to show you because if I touch it, my hands are gonna look like Smurf hands. Um, no joke, it has leaked everywhere. So there's pigment all over the pot. But I'm gonna blend that in my crease just like we did with the brown shade. Just gonna blend a bit with the first brush that I used for the brown just to make sure it's really soft so next I'm gonna create um kind of a cut crease almost if you will um, I'm gonna take my jumbo eye pencil by NYX uh, the white one and I'm gonna put that on my eyelids I am going to use a brush to make a nice clean edge between the blue and the white and I'm also going to take the white and just like wing it upwards like so. Now when that's done on both eyes, I'm just going in with this blue eyeshadow from Maybelline. And I'm going to pack this gorgeous icy color onto the white on my eyelids. To really make this light blue color pop and to make the cut crease even more defined, I'm going in with a dark purple. Purple? No. Blue. And believe it or not, I'm actually gonna use this palette again that I used in my last tutorial. This is from H&M years and years ago. It's pretty much ancient. Ancient? Ancient. Ancient. Ancient? It's ancient. How do you say it? I don't know. I'm going in with the dark blue that's right there. How am I holding this right now? I don't... Okay, God. I'm going in with this dark blue on a tiny brush just to... Just to cut the crease, basically. Okay, let's do that. I'm literally using the tiniest brush I have. It's a lip brush, actually, but you know, rules are meant for breaking. The police coming straight. Just kidding, there are no rules in makeup. What is up with my choker? Bye. And I'm also using an angled brush just to smoke this out and blend it up upwards. Again, I'm gonna go in with the pigment that I used uh, first on my eyes just to blend those two together. Okay, and same again on the other side. Ta-da! Now that both of my eyes are done, I'm gonna move on to my inner corner and brow bone highlights. And for that, I'm gonna use the exact same blue shade that I used on my eyelids and I'm gonna mix that with a white shimmering color so these two are gonna make the perfect icy blue frosty highlight color with a white only on the brow bone because I think I have enough blue going on around this area as it is 
and I actually already dragged a little bit of the light blue color onto my inner corners. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more and just kind of blending that slightly upwards as well. And then I'm topping that off with some white as well. So now you guys are probably thinking, what about that lower lash line though? And I'm about to get to it. I'm gonna use another Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX. This is in the color Cobalt. And it's a beautiful dark blue and it has silver glitter going all through it. And it's super pretty. So I'm just gonna use this and just line my lower lash line like this. And now I'm going in with the same dark blue again. I'm gonna go ahead and smudge out the eye pencil. I am just gonna go in with the same blue pencil again, a little bit in the crease. So I'm taking the same tiny brush and just going over that line. Just because I want some of that glitter. And next step is to take my white cake eyeliner from Makeup Store. I'm gonna mix this with a little bit of water on my eyeliner brush. And we're gonna do a line right underneath that icy blue. And just to clean up that line, I'm going in with the NYX concealer jar and I'm just going to clean up underneath. So the next step is the easiest so far, it's just to take the white eyeliner and just put that on my waterline. So the mascara I'm using today is a relatively new one for me, it's the Isadora Insane Volume Lash Styler. Packaging is gorgeous and the mascara itself is amazing. So I'm gonna use this to coat my top and bottom lashes. And the lashes I'm gonna use today are these uh, that I got from Primark earlier this year when I was in London. And they're called the Galactic Fashion Falls Eyelashes. And they were also super cheap, as you can tell. They were 1 and 50 pounds, which is basically nothing. They're basically handing out eyelashes for free. So, love you Primark for that. Also, the packaging is the most gorgeous one I've ever seen. So, just throwing that out there. Just look at it. Oh my god. I love holographic stuff. <laughs> So I'm just gonna pop these onto my eyes and then eyes are done. Okay, I officially love these lashes. They are beautiful. But anyways, now I'm gonna move on to my cheeks. And for the cheeks, I'm gonna use a blush from the NYX But Naked Eyes palette, as you can see here. And I'm gonna go in with the light pink blush. This is very wintry. It, it looks like you've been out on a winter's day and your cheeks have kind of gotten that like rosy glow, you know, naturally from just being out in the cold. Do you remember me talking about mixing the blue and the white shade to create a icy highlighter? Well, it's coming back guys! I'm gonna do the exact same thing for my cheekbones. Going in with the blue first and of course I'm gonna do this on my nose as well. And also the cupid's bow. Now I'm just gonna go in and top this with a pink to make it look frosty and just magical. I'm living right now. Before I move on to the little extra things that I'm gonna decorate my cheeks with, I'm gonna do the lips. I'm gonna start by lining my lips with a eye pencil from Makeup Store. This one is called Wave. And then to match, I'm going in with my new NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream, um, AKA the product of my dreams. And this is in the shade Dark Nebula. Just you wait until you see this. Now, while the lipstick is drying, I'm going to go in with some glitter, and these are also from Primark. So these are the PS Galactic Glitter Eye Cream, and I'm going in with, let's see, this one right here, because this one is white, but it has some green, blue, and purple holographic glitter, yeah. So I'm just gonna use my ring finger, actually, swirl it around in there, and press this on top of my cheekbones. I'm gonna go in with some rhinestones, um, also from Primark. <laughs> the ones at the bottom here, they are like clear slash holographic shimmery ones. And I also have really exciting snowflake sequins. And as you can see, they are just snowflakes in white, silver, and different shades of blue. So, I mean, 
it's time to start decorating. Um, hi! <laughs> okay, so obviously I didn't record me putting on any of this because I was very focused while doing it. So sorry about that, but yeah, this is what I have so far. I have three snowflakes on either side and I also have little rhinestones and I think this is adorable. Last thing I'm gonna do is to get some ombre kind of going on my lips and I'm just gonna use the blue again and I'm just gonna dab that on the middle of my bottom lip and also just really exaggerate um, the cupid's bow. And when the blue is done, it's time for, you guessed it, the white! <laughs> Which I'm just gonna apply in the exact same places. And I'm done! Oh my god! Finally! Oh my god, this choker though! I'm glad I'm done so I don't have to deal with this choker anymore. So, anyways, this is the finished look. I am completely in love with it. I hope you like it as well. It's very different from what I have been doing on my channel. I know it's very different from what I have done on my channel before, but this is also a type of makeup look that I love doing. Creative makeup is a huge passion of mine, so I'm really glad that I got to do this look for you guys today. So anyways, if you like this video, please give it a like. I mean, makes sense, right? Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and that way I will see you in my next video. Bye!